Hello everybody, this is JT's Reviews here and today I'm going to be reviewing this Vax Hoover. It's, well I don't know the model because it doesn't say on here for some reason but it's in the title and uh, stuff like that so you know what it is anyway so yeah, you click the video so you should know anyway <laughs> what sort of uh, Hoover this is I'm reviewing. Apologies that I haven't like, you know, known the model number but they make them at the back side, it's unbelievable. Anyway, this is the Hoover in question. I recently did an unboxing of it, and uh, since then I've been testing it out and uh, using it beyond its abilities most of the time. You get with it one of these head attachments for the back. You also get this tube right here, so you can attach it to the tube that's attached to the Hoover. And you also get this little brush thing that uh, is kind of useless but works okay for me I guess. And such like that. You can also put the pipe attachments on the side like this. But I don't wish to leave this connected because it makes the hoover look weird. So I have them in my cupboard and such like that. Okie dokie. Um, let me talk about some of the positives. It cleans your floor. Who would have thought of it? But, yeah, uh, let's go over some of the good things I like and uh, things I dislike. Let's go over to the goods first. The bin right here is really big and can hoover up for probably many, many applications. I like the size of this bin. That's one thing I am liking the most about it. I like how the rotary brushes work. They work pretty nice. And I do love this carpet setting right here, so you can adjust to many carpets that you have. Or if you have a hard floor, you can put it to one and etc. But I leave it on low carpet all the time because it's fur and it's easy to clean. Obviously, it probably would wreck my carpet eventually, but it's not my carpet, so whatever. Um, it has two wheels on the back right here. I think the motor is around about here somewhere because that gets the hottest. And uh, another great thing is this actually does fold up neatly into a cupboard space very easily on its own. Um, so yeah, I like that feature about it. But another great thing I like about this is I can put this down and have even more room in my cupboard if I wished. But I don't use that feature as it's good enough as it is to go in my cupboard because my cupboard is not really, really tiny. Um, another great thing is it does have a head right here that you can take out and uh, you can also attach a longer tube to it like so and hoover your car or your stairs or whatever you wish to use with it and it's easy to put back whenever you're finished with it. Another thing I like about this is the cleaning performance. The cleaning performance is astonishable in my opinion. Very very good. It's better than a Dyson a million times it's cheaper than the Dyson and it works as good as a Dyson would ever be. A thing I would dislike though is how plastic this feels, but yet again most equipment on the market is pretty plastic anyway. That's one of the dislikes about this, but many goods to the bad. So as I said the bin is very very big, you can detach it by pressing the um, release dust cap button. And there you go, your whole bin comes out and you can put it into a separate bin without any struggling. Uh, it also has a, a so-called hyper filter on the top, which I thought would affect the cleaning performance, but it does not. It's also got a carrying handle right here, so you can actually carry it around when you're using the pipe attachment or when you're moving it away from a lead or something, which is vitally important because the lead on this is too freaking long in my opinion. Another dislike about this Hoover, as I said. The cable length is 10 meters. It, uh, it's pretty long, but still sometimes you find it's not long enough still, but it's too long and not long. So, you know, it's a, a it's a, um, two-way traffic for good and bad really. It's either too long or too short. So I have to use an adapter just in case it's not uh, long enough because the first time I plugged this in it actually worked pretty well but when I went to another room it yanked out the socket again. So 
unless you have a lot of sockets in your home, which I sometimes don't have. I have like two in my kitchen and two in the living room, but they're mostly all taken up by a plug socket. So it's hard to plug it in. There's only one in the kitchen that I like to use. Uh, there's one on the landing, but I don't want to overload them too much. So I use an adapter just to work with it so it doesn't yank out again. I've had bad experiences with that. I mean, the Tesco Hoover that I did a review on does that a lot. It yanks out the plug, so that's why I use adapters anyway. Um, easy cable storage, like that. Um, although it doesn't all go all the way, so you might have to put it in with the cable to um, you know, make it tidy. But apart from that little error, I still find that pretty good. The foot pedal to turn it on and off is pretty easy to do. You just tap, go, tap, off, simple as. Um, very easy to work with. The brushes right here are on the bottom. And as you can see, they are pretty filthy because they've been cleaning my carpet for some time. They're on a belt, which is one thing that's a disadvantage about most hoovers. They leave a little line trace right here, but luckily enough the Hoover does do a good job at cleaning it anyway, so it's not a big issue, but a little bit of an issue if you ask me. As I said in my unboxing, it had a see-through um, clean path brush window right here, but the problem with it is, and I find it as a, a bit of a dislike, is the fact that it was once clear and now it's absolutely filthy, which makes the Hoover look really, really filthy. Another dislike about the plastic is the fact that it gets dirty quick and makes the Hoover even more dusty and, I don't know, it just doesn't look very nice anymore after it's been out of the box for a while. So that's a bit of a dislike about it. But apart from that, I think that this is a very stunning Hoover. It's very easy to store. You just easily put this down. You can put it in a very, very small space or you can leave this up and just put it in your big cupboard if you have one. Um, it's easy to move and it's easy to put the, the cleaning heads down. All you have to do is push down and off you go, you can start cleaning. Bit of a squeak in the wheels, but most of them are built really cheap and crappily. And um, again, for 60 quid, it wasn't too bad um, out of the box because you know there's going to be a few shortcuts here and there, like on wheels and etc. But Apart from that, it easily goes down, a little too easy sometimes, because when you're, when you're moving it around like this, sometimes the cleaning head will go like that, and it shocked the crap out of me the first day that happened. But a nice, easy foot release. You know what I mean, I can even do it with my fist, or do it with my hand, look. So, pretty easy, and that's one thing I like about this fax, it's pretty damn awesome. Um, the hyperfilter is on the top obviously and um, this bin right here is easy to clean. In fact, I'm going to give you a segment right now of me uh, take all the rubbish out of this bin, very simply. Okay, I'm about to uh, empty out the dustbin. Um, so to empty the dustbin, just press the clip like I said in the uh, review demonstration. Take it out like so. Open up your bin bag. Hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. Yeah. Like so. And then what you do is, is you press this little orange clip right here and release it into the bin. And I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe if I put you down a little bit more, that would help a lot. There we go. Right, so, again, by pressing the cap, you can empty your bin. Pretty easy. Might require two people though to empty this. It can be a bit of a bugger. Don't take. Ah, so I'm not in sharp apologies. Big fluff right here as well. Most of it out like so into 
our bin bag like so. Can you see that? There we are. It's all stuck. So what we're going to do is twist the cap like so. There's the hyperfilter. Right there, there's a the hyperfilter. Uh, and then uh, I can take this out. That looks out. Take all this stuff out. To be honest here, a bag tool would be a lot more easier. There's no messing around with dust or whatever that's inside the hoover. And uh, the oil of fluff is gone, I'm not cleaning it all because it's going to build up again anyway. I'll clean it, I don't know, probably later or something. And then we'll get the other part of the bin, like so, and uh, can easily remove all the stuff out. There's quite a lot in this, to be honest. I wouldn't normally fill it that high. Uh, I was just want to show you that it's possible to um, fill it up to the highest. And uh, the best thing is, no suction is lost, in my opinion. It's the same suction, works the same way, etc. Anyway, it's all in that bin now. I think that's all the dust I can find. So that'll do. Put the uh, pieces back together. With great difficulty. Yeah, got it all over my hands. Make sure you can wash your hands after all this. Put it onto where it clicks. So we've got it right here. Like so, there we are. And then we've got the clip like that. There we go. And there we go, one empty bin. And then what we're going to do now is put it back on the bin release catch or something and there we are it's ready for the next use so as you can see from that clip there it's easy to clean by just taking out the, the rubbish out of the bin obviously I won't be able to know what I've just said so I'm just gonna guess from this video because you know so yeah from dirty to non dirty etc uh, pretty easy to clean it also has a uh, exhaust filter right here that you can take off easily um, and that does get dirty because the cleaning power is a phenomenal. So, yeah, a bit of a bugger to put back in. I don't dislike I like it about this. I'll get it back in. <laughs> but it's rare that you're going to take this out. But, you know, a bit of a dislike is that it's a bit of a bugger to take out. Another dislike is the hard floor adapter that uh, Vax gave us. Um, it's crap. It is really crap. It, it, um, when you attach it, it's a bit of a bugger to put on. And when you're hoovering the floor, the wooden floor or whatever you're using with this, it doesn't suck all the dirt properly. And it ends up that you need to use the, the main brushes in the first place to clean the floor because this doesn't do as good job to, to guide it, if you will. But to put it on, it's pretty hard as well. Let me show you how hard it is. Okay, you lift the hoover up like so, and then what you have to do is align the brackets and everything to put the attachment on. You hear a bit of a snap. It's nothing to worry about when it makes that noise, by the way. It's just snapping on to the hoover. And there you go, the attachment is on. But to begin with, it's pretty difficult because I thought I had to put it this way, or I had to, you know, do something and I was like like this and I was trying to get it on and everything but it was actually thanks to me pushing hard that I managed to click it on so I felt like it was breaking the uh, hoover and the attachment so a dislike from uh, Vax there for that um, so yeah they um, basically um, this is a really crap uh, design I think it's uh, not so brilliant, this uh, guide head thing. Another dislike I want to quickly put into the notice is the um, nozzle. I mean, it's easy to get out, kind of, but when you're cleaning with just this head right here, you'll notice that it tips the hoover a little bit and moves the hoover away from you or moves towards you. and. Sometimes that is a bit of a dislike for me, 
um, as the Hoover moves with you and gets in your way and you know it, it can be a bit of a pain when it moves with you but by touching this hose it kind of eliminates that so I guess it swings and roundabouts when it comes up against this but if you're just going to take this out and just quickly Hoover something nearby it kind of makes it tip a little and I'm scared it's going to go like that and cause the Hoover to you know overheat or something so a bit of a dislike from me from Vax for that one but I guess it's only minor considering the fact that I don't always use the head attachment so not a big issue uh, that's another disadvantage I hate about these cable assessments even though they're easy to take out um, they're not as good as when you press a foot pedal and it actually goes in sometimes that can be a burden though sometimes because that jams sometimes on the Tesco Hoover so I don't know swings and roundabouts on that as well but for easy access you just turn this that way and then all the lead comes out so that's one good thing about it I guess it's kind of easier but winding this back up it takes a bit of time so as long as you've got a lot of time after hoovering I would um, recommend this a lot but that's the uh, design of floor of many hoovers out there that uh, have that wind feature either from a butt foot pedal or from one of these uh, things so swings and roundabouts I guess for hoovering and um, stuff like that. I would highly recommend this Hoover, although I wouldn't recommend an upright for every task. Um, get uh, get yourself like a like a Henry Hoover or a Tesco Hoover if you can if you can afford a Henry Hoover or a Hetty or whatever, or a uh, Tesco Hoover. Go for uh, a Tesco Hoover and then get this, because then you have the best of both worlds. Because what I noticed was when I had the Tesco Hoover or a Henry Hoover. I've never had a Henry Hoover by the way, but if you had a Henry Hoover it looks like the same as the Tesco one. And that is the nozzle then, you know, is already attached to the Hoover and you know you can just do your hoovering little tasks for crumbs and stuff that an upright would actually miss. Because this does miss uh, some areas of the floor when it hoovers, like underneath something that has a bit of a metal trap or something, or even better underneath a sofa like that so yeah that's a bit of a problem if you ask me but again uprights all do this anyway um, good at hoovering but not very good for underneath things like sofas and etc what you would want is an, a, a, a little basic hoover I recommend the Tesco one because it's nice with the suction you don't even need the head part the bigger head part all you need is the tube extension thing that that is attached to it and then start hoovering the nuts and crannies that it misses. I wouldn't recommend using this for nuts and crannies because I have been trying that out and to be honest with you this one does an okay job when it's come up against nuts and crannies like on the on the floor that it misses but the Tesco one I think would do better for that sort of little job um, but I don't know it's up to the user how they use it but I find this hoover to be excellent um, I would give it an 8 out of 10, mostly because of the few dislikes about this Hoover, um, but apart from that, an excellent Hoover. Uh, over a Dyson, this wins it hands down. I think a Dyson would be a 5 out of 10 compared to this 8 out of 10 machine. Uh, it's such a beast in my opinion, and they do have a pet hair version uh, as well, so if you have uh, like pet hairs, I would recommend that Hoover any day. But apparently going to the sales guy wasn't very good, so I don't know, maybe Eva would have done it, I don't know. But this is a tool winner in my opinion, I would recommend it, easily hands down. Um, but I would recommend you to get a, like a Tesco Hoover or something like that on the side as a little companion, so you can do little tiny little nuts and crannies, like for example when I was doing the, um, the, the, the dryer, because it's a condensed dryer, I had to get all the fluff out of the condensed dryer. This wasn't a very good um, experience because I had to use this and um, it didn't reach too well and the Hoover moved with me and it was in the way and it was blowing in the way and etc. So the Tesco Hoover did a better job because it had a longer extension etc. This doesn't have that so I wouldn't recommend doing small jobs with it. I recommend doing bigger jobs like the floors and stuff with it but for anything else a Tesco Hoover would do fine. Um, which is like 30 quid or 40 quid so not a big dent in your budget when you get one of these as well I would recommend near 100 pounds worth of spending 
with two hoovers than uh, one hoover alone like an upright because an upright won't do everything very well. Anyway, that was my review of this uh, Power Compact Vax Hoover. I'm just going to say the title that's on the, on the thing itself. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Thank you dearly for watching. If you've got one of these, please comment below. Um, I'll be happy to uh, help you out if there's any problems that you have with it. And uh, until next time, see ya.